Okay. Shred, you really lost weight? Thanks, man. Oh, I'm glad you noticed. <sighs> Why is everybody obsessed with this butt? Ah, I don't know, dude. Nothing like bringing a 1.4 mil box into a raid, right? I mean, this scav, this scav junk box is <laughs> gonna take a whole lot to fill. When you strip a player's gun for parts after you kill them, do they get their gun back if they insured it? Yeah, but they'll be missing the parts. So if you strip somebody's gun and they insured it, they'll get the gun back. It'll just be missing whatever the whatever I took. In case you're wondering, I brought a scav junk box. That's why I was excited. It's not even that dark. Am I relate, bro? Late. We got people. We got people literally on the right. Okay. He's dead. Nice. He just fucking loading loaded in, bro. That sucks. So why is there a light on there? Oh, the spotlight from the tower. Yeah, yeah. Those are those are on at nighttime. Dang. You're running thermal? Yeah, yeah. Thermal that's, that's how you saw right away. Good spot. Good. Oh, there's another one. He's going up to the body right now. I, I can't see him. He's dead. Good work. Yeah, he just went up and looted. He's like, hmm, dead guy. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Night Raids. I think the barter thing has to happen. What, what barter thing? Like the no barter items in Gamma. I just feel like there needs to be a little... A, it, should be, it should be just as risky to bring nothing as it is to bring something. You know? Yeah, no, I, I, I totally agree. You, should value, you should value your life, not your loot, if that makes sense. Yes. Yes, because, I mean, that's how I play, dude. I prefer to survive. Like, I will avoid fights if it means I can get out alive. And come back to you. I just don't want to go off alone with a scav chunk box. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, somebody would just be like, oh, snag it, and just dip if I died, you know? Yeah, they just fucking leave. Yeah, I think just Tarkov Battle State needs to look at it and be like, okay, what's the main point here? The main point is to not die. Let's balance that yep. for everybody, you know? Yep. On basement. I'm check marked. I'm actually. I feel like I should just loot everything, bro. Like duffels, yeah, dude, everything. Yeah, right? everything, dude. Yeah, yeah. Loot everything. Fucking junk box. I'm gonna clear. Just see if marks open first. Right. I don't want to start looting here. here. Marked is close. Is that a flash? Yeah. Flash. Yeah, I heard a flash pop, and then those gunshots. Maybe scab boss. Because players, I mean, like players will use flashbangs, but like not that much as raiders and. Players or uh, bosses do. Right, I'm coming through the gym. Mm, there's nothing. There's nothing. Pretty much a horse and a sa fifty-eight battle or whatever. I guess I'll probably. I shouldn't worry about what has value and what doesn't. I should just eat up everything. I mean, yeah. Grab all the all the things. Yeah, but I I would never want to take away how people should play. It should yeah. still be their choice to run a hatchet. Like that's fine, dude, for sure. For me, dude, I I would prefer basically go like this: remove the ability to put barter items inside of the container while you're in a raid, or basically anything, just anything at all, uh, and then reduce scab cooldowns to five minutes. Um, but your intelligence section, instead of it affecting your scab cooldown, affects the gear that your scab can spawn with. So. If you have like level zero, you know, fucking intelligence, you just get like shitty scabs, like macrobs, TTs, that's a, tazes. That's a good ass idea. What the fuck? You know, fuck? just like random little stuff. So that way, like, people are like, okay, if you want to go and get loot, you're just going to have to use your scab, and you can just keep going in and scabbing as much as you want with shitty ass scabs. Yeah, guns. that's a great idea, because then you could just have scabs rocking like fucking macrobs and shit. And yeah, and then as, you know, you level up the hideout, it doesn't remove those loadouts, but it opens the ability for you to spawn with, like, rare keys, yeah. harder goods, better guns and armor, you know what I mean? No, but that, that is, for... that is, that is the move right there. You do that with the barter, or with the gamma change? Oh my god. I like that idea, man, because that means, like, once you start getting more set in stone with money, mm -hmm. you have your intelligence up, and now, like, how the no how this normally works when you play scav... When you have money, you don't play scavs to loot. No. You play scavs to kill. So 
that intelligence yeah. center giving you the guns to kill will now benefit your play style. And at the right. beginning, when you don't have money, you play scavs to loot. And I think that yeah. is fucking awesome. That is a perfect idea. I'm glad you like it, Trav. Good, good thinking. Clean. I mean, I told that to Nikita, but he's like, you know what? That sounds too fun. <laughs> that's literally what yeah, he said. He goes, that's you know, people true. just play scab. He goes, it, it would be too fun. You know, people just go scab. And I'm like, so what? Let them go scab, man. Let them run around and populate the game of scabs. You know what I mean? Let them be cheeky and freaky, you know? I feel like since I brought those junk box, I'm not finding shit. <laughs> <laughs> but before that, I search a toolbox and there's like eight items in it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> How much is a scav box worth? Uh, 1.4 mil. That sounds like a M1A or maybe SR25. One of these bad get? boys. The... What's in here? What drill? Uh, I got the uh, 100k transponder thing. The mil oh, nice. Whatever it is. Wait, I have this key? I didn't know I this had this This is a locked key. room? Damn, I didn't even know I had this key. Filing <laughs> cabinets! Hey, there's... Yeah, there's AKs here. Bro, I didn't even know this was a... Oh. That was right by the tents. That was scary. What was Dude, that? I didn't even know... I... What key is this? I didn't even know I had this one. <laughs> I didn't know it was even a room. There's a lot to loot. I'm sorry. There's a lot in this no, building. Yeah, you're good, you're good. I'm, I'm just fucking observing right now. Alright, well, I guess uh, do your looting. Yeah. Scav's about to walk in, though. I'm gonna go over to uh, scab checkpoint and see if I can see more scab boss try and come out and we'll pick them. I don't know how many more of are alive. Well, I'm grabbing literally everything in here, USBs, everything. <clears throat> Should I get up in this tower, you think? You think I'll see anything? Uh, you could. Yeah, I see literally nothing, so that's good. Oh my god, I just heard so many. Is that you, Nadek? I'm fucking murdering them all right now. I'm gonna peek and see what the fuck happens. I'm pretty sure... Oh, one's right. pushing you? I just saw one walk up yep. to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm... Thanks. It's a regular, regular scav. Regular scav, okay. Fucking blacked my arm out though, bitch. Oh, raiders. Shh. Oh shit, I'm getting kind of pushed by raiders. Alright, get, def get defensive if you can. I'll try to back you up. Oh, you're not moving, right? I hear him. No. Okay, I I'll shoot him. Yeah, nice kill. I'm gonna peek a little bit more aggressively. Oh, shit. Alright, I'm coming back to you. I'm coming to where you killed that guy. Yeah, I'm on your right. Oh, someone's in grass. Above me. Oh, please don't be a raider. Uh, I don't see him. It's coming up to me. Oh. Nading. That's far. Just wanted to throw a nade to bait him out. Nades are usually the strat against the raiders just because uh, when you throw them, they'll usually move and run away. They'll vocalize a lot of the times, too. Oh, wait. Come Someone's on. walking in train. I hear him. Inside train? Like, not, not sorry, not in train. In the, the K building. The closest, closest one to us. I'm gonna... Okay, you know what? Maybe you work up top. I work down low. I'm gonna loot these build these uh oh it is downstairs. I just see I see their flashlight. Okay. What if those are fucking raiders? Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god. I, just, uh, I think we're good. I just, hear, I just hear them getting Oh no, I hear another one. Seriously. Everything's fine. I was just scared they're gonna shoot me through the rates. <laughs> Are we gonna have to take train here? With how much time? No, no, train's already gone, bro. We're gonna have to do mountain. Extract. Oh shit! It's the only, only way. 
We're gonna have to. I'm gonna. Have to, I, I don't even think we have that much time. That run is pretty far, yeah, dude. I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to. Uh, we can do it. it. Run from here to there uh, without any stops. Only takes about a minute. I'm scav tower right now. Where are you? Just so I don't blast you. I got him. I'm in front of train station right now. Oh wait, you're you're on the left by train. You're not even K buildings, K warehouse. No, yeah, yeah. I'm all, I'm all, all the way by the train station right now. Okay. I'm all the way over here, brother. One of the reasons why I like this map so much is I I always do feel like I can spend up to like 40 minutes. Of all right. This. Let's roll. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking nervous. <laughs> dude, I've I've had some, dude. I remember one time so I killed scab boss there. I had like five minutes left. I ran all the way up to the mountain with like two minutes left to extract. I'm like, fuck, I forgot to check Glucar's pockets, dude. I ran all the way back down to train station uh, where we we're just looting, bro. Got the lab card and got out with like 30 seconds left. Oh my God. So that's how you know it only takes a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the balls. I mean, chat baited me too. They're just like, you're a pussy if you don't get it. I'm like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I killed them all solo and shit. I'm digging the night raids though. We gotta do more of these. These are fun. I wonder if other maps uh, we could potentially get in at like night and like have it not take... Oh yeah. Hopefully people are playing night maps a lot less. I'm gonna loot these filing cabinets, dog. <laughs> there you go, bro. Do I it. still got plenty of room in this fucking junk box. This box is impossible to fill. <laughs> impossible. I'm good. <laughs> Fucking, you should need so much shit to fill this mid-raid. Oh my god, that scared me. Oh my god. <laughs> and we didn't really get any PvP, we just fucking looted and killed Scab Boss. Whatever. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I brought the scab case, dude. Why not, right? And we got 23k experience for that. We? I did. <laughs> I got eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of looting experience, though. Yeah, it's true. You get, you get a ton of experience for looting shit. Yeah, hold on. Let me uh, sell here. Sell the, the junk box, dude. <laughs> That was nice. That was like an over one mil run. That yeah, was solid. <laughs> Someone said bring two scav junk boxes next time. Yeah, for sure. Couldn't even fill one. Not even close. Bring two. <laughs> that was nice. I brought a scav. Dude, I might do that more often. I might bring scav junk boxes more often. It's really not that hard, you know? You go to reserve and you just loot everything and you get out and it's an easy mill. And then the pacing is is what's important. Obviously, the faster you play, the higher risk. But also, the faster you play, the faster uh, you lose. Should be coming out soon for Sean Show too. It wasn't like anything crazy, but for a scab junk box only being one point one point four mil, you just fill it up as much as you can in one raid, and you could come over. You could come way over a mil, you know. Yeah, but if you die, you lose one mil. Yeah, but one run pretty much pays for it. You know what I mean? One one mil isn't that much, right? So, if you could potentially get one mil or more just in the box itself, then that is super worth because you'll grab some value of other stuff along the way. And who knows how long you'll live with it, you know? Like, what if that, what if that scav junk box is with you for like three raids, you know? I don't mind losing it. I mind else. I mind someone else taking it. Well, the beauty of someone else taking it is that some people might not be as fortunate as you when it comes to playing the game, right? Now imagine how good it would feel to find a body and find a scav junk box and be like, "Holy shit, I've always wanted one of these." You know, that'd be a pretty cool feeling. Imagine not having a scav junk box and you're playing, and you know you're level 20 or whatever, and you you want a you want a scav junk box real bad. So you can store your shit, but you just can't afford it or you don't want to pay for it, whatever. And you find one, you're like, whoa, hell yeah, that'd be a great feeling.